Alright, what's up y'all? It's Lincoln Fan here. Today's video, this is an example of how to beat double locks on twos. Now, I've been saying in my last, I think it was just like the last one or two videos, but honestly, bro, for the last time, like probably week that I've been playing stage like this, and also I apologize for the lack of videos, it is kind of hard to get gameplays on the stage just because it's always like some competitive, slow-paced, ugly basketball, right? Like it's not fun to watch. I mean, it's just very repetitive. But anyway, you see, they got the pure lock at the one, rim stretch at the two on me. And also, just because uh, this is one of AK's clan, old clan members, Verified Greens, and his name is Verified Shots. But listen, it wasn't some like buddy buddy stuff, you know what I mean? He's not like sitting here allowing me to like make a video. And I don't even know the dude, honestly. Like, we weren't talking to him at all. He, AK was just telling me one of his old buddies was pulling up. So, anyway. Um, nah, point of this video. I'm gonna break this down right here. You guys see how they switched? They switched right there. Boom. Slip. I don't know how many times I've been telling y'all. Slips are the way to go when you're... When the people you're playing are just willing to switch everything. Now, you're gonna see in, like, the next gameplay I show you, I'm pretty sure... They're not so willing to switch, but these guys were just willing to switch everything. Like, look at this. Look at this. It wasn't even a good screen. So what happens? Boom. I'm going to break this down for you guys. So you see, white shorts is on AK. Boom. Now they switch. So now at this point, what we always do, and I don't think this one's set up very clean. So this might be a bad example. But what we always do, we try to space it out from each other as much as possible, then run toward each other at the same time. I'm going to make it look like I'm going to set a pick, right? So I'm coming right here. Now... Like I said, I don't think this one's set up very good, but you can see how red red shorts is passing AK off to white shorts, right? And that leaves me a gap right between the two. Uh, but yeah, like I said, okay, so that one didn't set up very good. Let me let me make a better example. I don't think we even got a slip on this play right here either. I think it was just kind of some yeah, okay. And that's the one problem. If and I'm I'm, I'm gonna use this as a good example. This was low on the shot clock, so I mean it's not AK's fault. But let me just explain it like this. If you are a shot creator, a guard, anything, if if they're playing switch defense on everything and they're just playing sides, you are never, ever, ever going to score. That's just how it is. So let me put it like this. You see how red shorts, like he's going to step up on him off this pick, right? And he's not open. And that's why you, I don't mean to say you low IQ centers, because some of you guys watching this are try, probably trying to improve your like IQ and just, and just how to play as well. Or you just don't care enough and like, don't be, and then if that's the case, don't be offended by me saying you're lo, you're a low IQ big. But anyway, point being you low IQ big men, th this is why your guard struggles to get open. All right. Because you cannot get them open <laughs> because all you're doing, you might, you might set the meanest screens ever. But it doesn't matter because if they're just gonna switch everything and you're too and you're too dumb to s slip down the middle. Now you see right here, I'm already there for board positioning. That's what my plan was, honestly, right there anyway. Just because shot clock was low, I was just trying to crash boards. I was gonna let AK throw up some BS. But um, no, no, no. We're gonna we're definitely gonna have some examples here of the slips. So you see, switch right here, right? Boom, set it up, slip. Now this is where sometimes it'll get dicey. Now, I'm gonna show you guys this where. You see white shorts kind of played back on the pass. This is where AK needs to kind of read this a little bit. It's a it's a hard read as a guard. Sometimes if you have a good enough lob city passer and the receiving end of this is like a good enough finisher, you're A1. Like you're, this is this is unguardable. <laughs> That's why I mess with my athletics so much. And like if we have a if we have a playmaking sharp or like a um, you know you guys remember Zeke used to use his uh, playmaker primary shot creator second and has hall of fame lob city passer and i have hall of fame finisher on my athletics so things like these is automatic lobs like you cannot intercept that stuff at all so but anyway i guess what i'm saying is red shorts is completely out of this play ak needs to just outrun red shorts and make it a one-on-two between me and me and the white shorts now he can't run for too long or else red shorts is going to recover to the paint and then he's got enough time so that's why that's where i'm saying lobs use super useful in these situations you see he could have maybe got the passing lane right there, but anyway, it's concept still the same. You're looking for slips. You're looking for, like, just cutting right down the middle off a screen. Now, this is now you guys can take this from me, for sure. And I don't know how many of you have done this, but what we try to do is we screen once to make them switch, and then we fake the screen back, and I go for the slip. Now, reason for this, and I and I apologize for how many pauses I'm making here, but I'm so serious. This is gonna help you guys so much. You would think like, oh, like, let me put it like this, right? Let's say, let's say white shorts is a point guard, right? 
and Red Shorts is their big man. Now, if we got if we got a guard on the big, right, and then 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 I have a guard on me. Like, okay, let me let me restart that. If I have a guard on me and a big on AK, they're gonna be like, bro, what are these dudes doing? Like coming to rescreen. Like this is the type of stuff where they be thinking you're just stupid, right? And that's what I'm talking about. I think people are stupid if they're gonna like run screens like this back. But the point of this is you know they want to switch. So that's when you know you can get a slip. I don't like to slip. I'll, I'll make another example. Um, so again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up to him, fake the screen. Now, ah, that's where, see, if things don't set up right, it's kind of hard to like make them work. Anyway, you see, I get a crazy rebound animation there. But uh, no, no, no. I, what I want to get off the off the top of my head here, and I would really love to like literally just make a video explaining the types of pick and rolls. But like, I don't know. AK, AK is not the point guard <laughs> to make that video with. It's just he's he's definitely the most talented. Uh, so you see right there, this is very situational. Uh, red shorts looked like he was playing back. So I just kind of, also white white shorts just like came up on the screen way too high. You see how, uh, let me put it like this. I know for a fact that white shorts, if he, cause all they can do right here is switch, right? Like AK is ahead of white shorts and it red shorts has to pick him up. You know what I mean? Or else he's gonna be wide open. So I know that and I know white shorts is way too far behind me to, to even get in the way. Red shorts probably thought they were switching but White Shorts didn't because he thought he could get over the screen good enough. So then this is where miscommunication comes into play. That should have been me wide open, but then Red Shorts hesitates. It's all it's all mind games, honestly, at that point. If you can't set up for the clean like uh, slips, then pick and roll is a lot of mind games that you got to be able to just read. So you see right here, we're back to the pick and rolls, uh, forcing the switch. Now, this is where, okay, so for instance, right here, AK started moving toward me too quick. Um, you have to... You both have to like be standing still for a little bit. I know it doesn't make much sense. You're like, what the heck are you talking about? Why? Um, you both have to be standing still for just a little bit and, and just start running toward each other at the same time from the three point line. If you're at the midi, it's not going to work. It's just too close to each other. But anyway, you see, we didn't really run toward each other at the same time. I got a bad cut. Uh, it was just all kind of screwed up. But anyway, we, we run it back this time and I, I just get kind of bumped by him. This is this is not a great example, but again, it, it would be very easy for me to show you how this works against like two non-defending builds. But I, I wanted to show you guys at the best level, and this is honestly one of the only ways to beat double locks. Is if they're going to be willing to switch everything, you got to take advantage of that. They're such great defensive builds. Why would you ever even like want to switch on screens? You got Hall of Fame pick dodger. You know what I mean? So what's the what's the point of? <laughs> Even switching on screens, you got such, such great pick dodger. So anyway, he gets a step back there. Uh, pretty pretty nice rebound animation I got right there. That's just the perks of the pure glass. Again, perks of the pure glass. Like, what the heck is that? <laughs> like, bro, I should not have had this rebound. Look at this. There's two dudes down here. One is way above my head, right? And then my dude somehow, somehow <laughs> grabbed this rebound. There's absolutely no way I should grab this rebound. There's literally zero way I should grab this. <laughs> But anyway, I come up with it somehow. Uh, right here, we, we finally... I'm pretty sure we... No, we don't even get the slip there. Uh, like I said, bro, it's it's tough. Because AK is like one of the guards that... It's it's very hard to just maneuver this rescreen and slip because he just looks to shoot so much. But it, it's okay. I mean, he's the only dude I'm okay with doing that. Like, he gets the job done all day, any day. And then I mean, but I'm just trying to help my man out because he's got like double locks on him at all times. And again, like I'm saying, if they're trying to switch everything, now this is a great example too because AK is one of those dudes. He's probably got your friends like like passing IQ, right? But he's just way more skilled on the sticks. Like I'm talking probably ten times more skilled than your buddies on the sticks. <laughs> but he's got the same level of IQ probably as <laughs> as those guys. Now I I don't mean to hate. I don't mean to hate. And, and that's not really a true statement. It's just like I do give him a lot of a lot of crap for for his passing IQ. But anyway, uh, we got one more gameplay against, and this is like a, a very interesting variant of double locks. So this one, I'm gonna pause it here too, bro. This is like mad OP. I think people need to run this rather than double peer lock, cause bro, like this this generates offense for you, and you wouldn't understand it if you know what I mean, but. 
you got the slashing defender at the one, which means he's going against your point guard or stretch big or whatever it may be, right? So you got a great like finishing build against probably a weak defender. Or if you just end up running like, I think I think post lock would be a good combo to stop this just because, uh, but that's like honestly the only thing I could see. And then at the end of the day, it's still like two great defenders against one great offensive player. So I think you would probably still struggle. But no, the stretch big is at the, is at the two and the slashers of the one. Now I do this with my athletic quite a bit, but this is before like lockdowns became like such a great option. Uh, I used to do this with my athletic a lot. I would put my dude at the one because I'm six eleven and I play with seven foot pure stretch. So I'm I'm at the one and I got guards on me, but they're obviously trying to switch back. Now I'm gonna warn you guys here: the rescreen slips. We were not doing much of that this game because again, AK just kind of be in his own world sometimes, like just trying to get his shot off. So anyway, we lose the ball against double locks right away, and that's never a good thing, <laughs> especially with this these dudes lineup and. Now this is a more interesting gameplay for you guys. This isn't just like running dudes like, you know, this is a competitive gameplay. So we try to get the, the switch onto the stretch, or we get our we try to get our guard on the stretch, because again, that's what we want. We don't want AK to get bodied by some some slashing lock at the one. We were, we're more okay with like him just putting up like bad, not bad shots, but like sort of contested shots. You see, I kind of leave him open because I'm just testing him. Boom, he bangs three. And I'm like, oh my god. At this point, I, I thought it was over already because if they can just put the... If we can put AK on the big man and he can still body him... Like, let me put it like this. If AK is going to guard this guy, right? And he just posts him up because he's so much taller, which he ends up not getting a great shot. But if they're going to... If I can't just leave my dude to shoot threes, then it's over. <laughs> but anyway he misses this shot and honestly i don't know i'm, I'm kind of selling this a little too much like this gameplay wasn't quite as comp as i as i make it out to be but uh no anyway i guess what i'm saying is the best way to beat double locks is probably if you don't have a cheesy like post score uh lock combo i honestly feel like it's probably this lineup like if you have to run a guard pure shot creator is probably the move like play sharp that's i don't think that's gonna get it done same with like I don't know, I guess a shot maker, the shot creator primary playmaker second would be good. But anyway, right there I was looking for the for the rescreen slip. Because again, AK AK gotta realize sometimes, bro, against these double locks, you gotta be a passer. Like you gotta dribble. And, and let me put it like this. You don't even have to dribble dribble. You just gotta run one way quick. Like all you gotta do is make them switch. Boom. Points. Like, it's it's simple as that. Now, don't be wrong. With my glass, it's it's a little harder to get those slips on demand whenever I want. Just because I don't got as great a finishing ability. But you see, that they're kind of... That's where... I don't know. That was a good lob. It's just... That's that's tough to get on double defenders again. Uh, but no, we got our switch that we want. I don't know. I, I, I don't really know how to explain uh, that last possession. It was more of like a, I was looking for the slip. And it was kind of a bad angle to throw a lob from. You see, I get it heavily, but he still makes it. Um, I, that actually might have been AK that got it heavily. But no, my plan was to just get the slips. Now, one more one more little nugget of information for you guys. As you see, they get a bad pass there. One more little nugget of information is that if you're going to look for slips, it's hard to get lobs because you have to throw the lob from like a wing, wing to wing angle kind of, if you get what I'm saying. Like, let's say, like you can't really throw a lob. You can throw a lob right there. But like, for instance, right here, not really a great angle. And it's tough because you can't really throw that pass either. I don't know. This double lock stuff is honestly nuts. But again, I'm here to help you guys a little bit. You see, they get a self rebound, put it up again. He bricks again. This rebounding stretch was so in this game. <laughs> but no, I'm just here to help you guys a little bit. I, it's not going to solve all your problems. But uh, you see, so they switch it here. And now we're just kind of freelancing. AK gets up a good shot, though. All right, sorry, a little interruption there. Um, no, anyway, you see AK gets up uh, his own shot right there. That's kind of just, that was a little freelance stuff. Um, I, I apologize. I'm not really, like, being too cohesive with this with this explanation of how to run it against these guys. This is just more so, like, another example. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, though, I would appreciate if you do sub. I, I understand, though, if you're kind of here just to get your information and whatnot. But you see right here, bro, like, I don't know. This is what I'd be talking about, though. They're just playing such questionable, like, defense. Like, right here, it's like they both didn't know that they were going to switch, right? They're just not communicating. But 
Then it's like, AK just waits too long to shoot. Dude gets a contest, he misses. I do get rebound though, but you get what I'm saying. Like a lot of this stuff is like situational reads and it's simple as that. And it's just like, you gotta be able to like read it on the fly, but you gotta know what you're doing. Again, like the, the whole point is you wanna make them switch. If they're not gonna switch, you gotta expose wherever they're trying to not switch from, if you get what I'm saying. So if, if both step up on AK, boom, that's a lot. Like again, you see they do the same stupid stuff. It's just AK was not hidden this game. Um, you see, they you, they do the same stupid thing. They they both guard me because they just aren't talking on defense. So you get again. You see, I get the slip because you know this dude's sitting here like, oh my god, not again. Like this is what I'm talking about too. You gotta you gotta hit him with these because it's gonna it's gonna confuse them. So anyway, you see, I slip. It gets both people on me. AK gets open, shoots it too deep. I get bored though. Uh, now I got takeover. He hits me on a wide open <laughs> layup. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, yeah, it's just like, you get what I'm saying. You gotta, you gotta make situational reads and it's simple as that. Now, AK did make the right read twice. He shot it when he was open. Again, that, that big man, like, bro, I'm telling you guys, these slips be killing people because look at this. I'm on the back end, right? They, they're not, they, if they don't talk enough on defense and even honestly, this is what's going to happen if they don't talk enough on defense. But if they do talk enough, you'll be wide open on the slip. That's just simple as that. Um, but no, so again. AK gets wide open off that nice nice uh walk back too rather than just to shoot it in his in his face on a on a fadeaway. But anyway, you get what I'm saying? Like if if you if they're talking properly, you should be open on slips. Now, right now, he's got his takeover. We're just letting him ISO. Uh, I got mine too, so there's really no point of like me setting him picks. They're just gonna switch everything. Right now, we're just trying to get him to get like, you know, a fadeaway. Basically, what I'm saying here is AK can generate his own shot without me now, and then me just sitting down low. Now, I'm just setting him one pick, trying to make him switch again. I wanted, like, a weaker defender on him. So, now he's just ISOing. Again, the, the dude down low is kind of sending heat at him, but it's not enough to, like, stop that. Now, this is where, like, this isn't good IQ help for you guys. It's just, this is where AK excels. His stick skills when he can ISO with takeover are just unmatched. And that's where it's nice because he doesn't have to make pick and roll reads. He doesn't have to do anything. He can just ISO. I'm just, I just crash boards. It's simple as that. Uh, and I don't even have to worry about clogging up the paint for him because he's not even going to take paint shots. So that's why this is such a nice combo with the pure glass because I can just crash boards with a ha with a Hall of Fame hustle rebounder 99 rebound. <laughs> And and my Hall of Fame everything shot creator with 99 open mid, 99 off dribble mid is just over here like isoing a big man now. <laughs> so it's like, it's just it's hard to beat. It's real hard to beat. But anyway, it's off the vid. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something too. I apologize if I wasn't really like putting it all together quite as much as I would like to. Um, also, we the, even with all these struggles that you see us like do we went on a 20 streak on the 2k court and then had to just hop off it we probably could have gone way longer with this but anyway yeah it's all good we had we had to hop off for the pro-am um but anyway hope you guys enjoyed like i said hope you learned something too i will try to get to you guys I i'm gonna do it this weekend i promise i'm gonna do a pick and roll iq video i'm talking how to beat hedge defense how to beat switch how to beat front and back how to force them to switch. It's simple. Like, I'm going to go over everything. All right? I promise. Now, yo, for everybody who's still here uh, and one of my subs, put 20 in the comments if you made it to the end of the video. But, yo, also, I want to put you guys on to something here. Now, I'm, I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. Um, I want to I get, like, super real with you guys. Bro, you guys have to check out this dude Khalid's new album. Um, now, I'm telling you guys, like... This is such a it's such a beautiful album. You guys gotta check it out. It's Free Spirit. Um, I'm probably gonna go to his tour in like St. Paul or something like that. Uh, I think it's gonna be super fun. But anyway, it's it's like R&B type stuff. Um, it's but it's like also like soulful music too. I don't know. It's complicated. Not really. Not really. It's it's pretty simple. <laughs> but anyway. You guys gotta check that out. Free Spirit by Khalid. It's it's the most beautiful thing you ever heard. I promise. <laughs> So anyway, it's off the vid. Let me know if you guys check that out too. Come back to the comments and tell me what you thought of it if you actually do give it a listen. Uh, the whole album is just straight like perfect front to back. I had no complaints, no problems with it at all. So anyway, maybe Talk was the only song I, I didn't really like. But anyway, that's off the vid. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
like I said, leave 20 in the comments if you made it to the end of the video. Other than that, take these, man. Peace.